I'm sharing five transitional looks for spring from my 10 item capsule wardrobe. Hi everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five transitional looks for spring. We're in the time now in March where a lot of us are looking forward to having a spring wardrobe, but we're not quite there yet. It's still a little bit chilly. We might not have the items we would like for our spring wardrobe, and so we have to make what we have work. So I'm going to be sharing five looks for you today. This video is a collaboration with my wonderful friend, Nikki from Inspired by Nikki. She is also going to be sharing five transitional looks for spring, including her hair and accessories. So I will leave Nikki's video down below. I would love it if you would check out her video today as well. If you are coming over from Nikki's channel, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe to The Daily Connoisseur and join our chic family over here. Okay, so let's talk about today's outfit. I am slowly bringing out some of my older pieces from last spring summer to wear right now. And I'm just tired of my winter clothes. I think we're all there at this point <laughs> where I want to see something new. However, it's still a little bit chilly. So I'm wearing this beautiful sky dress that I had last spring and it's this lovely sky blue color. I'm just so ready for this infusion of color and to warm it up, I'm wearing the hip stick tights. So they're sheer. It still looks like my legs, but I have that extra layer of warmth. I'm wearing them with ballet flats. And then a way that I like to style a dress like this as I transition for spring is by adding a sweater. So I will usually add the sweater over my shoulders if I'm going out and I'm not sure if I'll need the sweater or not, but it's nice to give that layer of protection on my shoulders and have the option of actually wearing the sweater if it does indeed get too cold. As for accessories, I'm wearing these really dainty earrings. These are by Rachel and Jewelry. You've seen them before. Rachel does really affordable jewelry that's so beautiful and feminine. And I've put my hair in this updo. This is the classic easy an elegant chignon that I've showed you many times on the channel and it's my go-to when I just want my hair out of my face. This is a very demure, ladylike, and elegant look, and it's the perfect transitional look for spring. Okay, so today I am in my jumpsuit, and this was my winter purchase for this year. I am able to transition it seasonally as we head into spring because now I'm just simply wearing it with sandals, and I don't need a coat or anything like that with it, so it's quite nice. As it gets hotter, I will have to retire this piece and just keep it for my probably fall wardrobe coming up because the sleeves are long and it's corduroy, so it's quite heavy. But right now it's working and I'm wearing it with the Lily Silk camisole, like I always do. And for all of my ladies who <laughs> say you don't wanna wear a jumpsuit because of the whole bathroom situation. Well, when you wear a camisole, yes, I have to take this off, but then I still have a shirt on. See what I mean? So it's not that bad. Say goodbye to my long hair because I'm going to be getting a haircut in a few days and I'm rather excited about it. It's been a long time since I had a haircut and I really need one. Because I am wearing sandals now, I gave myself a pedicure because I am now wearing sandals again. And previously to this, I kept nail polish off my uh, toes for the whole winter just to you know, give them a break from it. But now I'm wearing London Town's Cafe Olay and I plan to paint my nails with this later too, but this is a lovely color. It's very neutral um, and I really like it a lot. So, you know, I don't need to tell you how much I love my jumpsuit. <laughs> this is by Velvet uh, by Graham and Spencer and I feel super comfortable in it and I just adore it. So I'm definitely looking for a jumpsuit for the spring. I'm eyeing a few of them, waiting for a few things to come out before I make my selection. But as of right now, this is transitioning really well for me. Hello, I have a new look for you. And yes, I finally had my hair cut and it feels so fresh and light and I'm so happy. So we took a few inches off and I am very pleased. So <laughs> that was nice to be able to do. Um, okay, so let's talk about my outfit today. This is a budget dress. It was purchased last spring from Target and it was very affordable. I'm using this as a transitional piece right now into spring as I compile my spring 10 item wardrobe. I don't think this is going to make it into the core items this year. The dress is looking a little wary. It didn't um, perform as well as in, it's just not looking top notch. 
So I am going to keep it, however, and this is a really comfortable dress to be outside in if I'm doing gardening or doing something on a hot day and I don't wanna wear something super nice. Uh, so you know, I actually love gardening and dresses, so that's what I'll do. I'll keep some dresses to garden in because it gets really hot here in Southern California. But for now, I am able to wear this as a transitional piece and I have it with this cropped Bowdoin cashmere cardigan that I've loved for years, super high quality. If they still do this, I will link it down below. I'm wearing it with the Oliver Cabell mules and these um, are perfect for fall for me, but again, in Southern California, in this transitional spring season, I really like the look of them. Let's talk about jewelry because I work with that brand Sky. They have amazing jewelry, amazing. Like the designs are so beautiful. So these are the Ismay earrings and this is the Inez bracelet and it's new for their spring season. The jewelry is hand dipped in 18 karat gold. It's hand painted enamel and they use freshwater pearls. And I love this. I think the earrings look like whimsical hot air balloons. I think they're so pretty. And this bracelet is very delicate and lovely. So I wanted to show you their new spring collection in today's video. And I'll also be showing you a few more pieces as the video goes on. That is it for today and I will see you next time. Okay, I'm so excited to share this look with you, but before we do that, I am doing a giveaway in this video for this absolutely delightful Monkiji silk headband. This is such a high quality headband. This is made by my friend, Jen He, who runs Monkiji, and she's the one who does those amazing silk scarves. So um, it's just such high quality work. It is 100% silk. I'm not going to put it on my head because this is the headband that I'm going to be giving away. So I am sending it to one of you. <laughs> you probably don't want me to wear it. So um, enter the giveaway down below. Just leave me a comment letting me know about your seasonal style and how you plan to transition it. Okay, so this is a Monkiji headband. It is so exquisitely beautiful. I actually really want this for myself, but I'm giving it away <laughs> to one of you. The giveaway is open worldwide. You just have to be a subscriber of The Daily Connoisseur and make sure you check out Monkiji. I will leave her linked down below. Okay, let's talk about this outfit because I'm so happy and excited to be wearing this. This outfit is the perfect storm of all of the things that I love. So if I were to pick a uniform, um, a casual uniform, it would definitely be the Breton striped shirt with a pair of nice classic jeans and that's it. And that's what I'm wearing today. So this is a new Breton striped shirt that I ordered from Bowdoin. I find that they have the best ones. They just have a great selection. Another brand that is doing them is Mercy, and they're going to be sending me uh, their Breton striped shirt. So I'm so excited about that. And I will leave them down below too. My jeans actually fit me now. I have a new pair of jeans. These are from Mott and Bo. This is the mom jean. So I love this jean, not just because I'm a mom, but because it's very high waisted. It fits me at the top. It doesn't sag down. It doesn't show, um, you know, it's not too low. And it's it's not fitted on the leg, so it's not super tight. It's not a skinny jean. And I love that crop because it looks so good with uh, any shoe that you're wearing. So this is like my favorite um, type of jean to wear right now. This is a lighter shade for spring and a size that actually fits me now. So I'm really excited. Okay, on my feet. So many people have been asking about tennis shoes. Jennifer. I need to wear tennis shoes. How do you wear tennis shoes and look chic at the same time? I don't wanna wear a clunky athletic shoe. Well, this is the solution. I love a white tennis shoe. So wherever you can find one, some people like to wear Converse or some people like a simple Ked or something like that. These are exquisitely chic white tennis shoes. Okay, these are from Oliver Cabell, the same people that make the driving loafer and the, uh, the mule that I had and that I love so much for fall winter. So the wonderful thing about these shoes is that they are 100% leather and made in Italy. So I love speaking to the 
designers and the owners of these companies. So I was talking to the people at Oliver Cabell and this is one of their best selling styles. And I can see why it's super chic and elegant. If you ever go back to traveling this summer, if we get to go places, this is like the type of shoe you could wear and still look really good and be comfortable and not look like a tourist. Do you know what I mean? Let's talk about the accessories. I just painted my nails. This is Changing of the Guard by London Town. And I did a video a while ago about my favorite red London Town shades. And you can see, I literally just painted my nails. So I have to fix that. I've got, <laughs> I've got some paint on my uh, fingers, but what I'll do is I'll paint my nails. I'll let them dry for several hours and then I'll touch up all of the smudges and everything. But this um, red nail polish, against the striped Breton shirt is just so classic for me. I love it. And then another classic element are the pearls. So I shared the sky jewelry in the previous outfit and these are the other two pieces. These are pearl pieces, the Cosette earrings and the Lore pearl bracelet. And this is my favorite piece out of all of them. It is so gorgeous. I love um, a chunky bracelet that dangles against my watch and makes a sound. So anyway, this is my super casual transitional look for today. If it gets cold, I could always pop the Everlane cashmere sweater over my shoulders and uh, you know carry that around with me. Hello everyone, it is the last transitional look. It is a new day and I'm wearing a very cozy and elegant outfit. So the main thing for me with transitional uh, fashion is that you have to accommodate the weather and it's still chilly, even though it's sunny over here where I live. So today I'm wearing that loft white blouse that I had in last year's wardrobe. It will be coming back. It's a little large, but I find that when I tuck it in, it looks good still. So I'm going to be keeping this in my wardrobe. I'm wearing it with the brand new jeans that fit me finally, and I love them. I love a classic crisp pair of jeans that's, you know, has no bells or whistles, just a classic pair. So I'm wearing them with the Mountain Bow jeans. To keep me warm, I have on the Mercy wrap. And these wraps are so neat because they have sleeves, see? And um, they stay on because sometimes when you have a wrap on, it just keeps falling off of you like a blanket or something. But these are like sweaters and they're so warm and amazing. So I have the Mercy wrap on. As for jewelry, I'm wearing the Sky Pearl necklace and the Cosette earrings once again. So I am in the process of gathering together my spring 10 item capsule wardrobe. I have some new pieces coming in and I'm so excited to share the wardrobe with you again this year. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas for neat transitional ways to approach your wardrobe. Don't forget to check out Nikki's video down below. If you are coming over from Nikki's channel, I hope that you will stay and subscribe to The Daily Connoisseur. We would love to have you as a part of our family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video. Keep calm and remain classy. Bye.